Welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we'll take a look at the camera for taking pictures and recording video. Your camera has a sensor called the Exmor R for mobile sensor. It enables sharp photos and videos even in low light conditions. Locate the camera key on the side of the phone. Unlock the screen and then activate the camera by pressing and holding the camera key firmly until the camera starts. To take a photo using the camera, compose your shot in the viewfinder. Press the camera key halfway down to use autofocus. The center bracket turns green, indicating that focus has been set. Now press the camera key gently all the way down. The photo is automatically saved on the memory card. To the right in the viewfinder, you'll find the thumbnail bar where you can view your pictures. Drag this bar to the left to view all your photos. Tap the photo or video you want to see, then flick right or left to view your other content. By tapping the icons in the bottom, you can choose to share the image, set the picture as a contact picture or as a wallpaper on your home screen, delete the picture and view it in the gallery application. Go back to the camera by pressing the back key and if necessary, drag the thumbnail bar to the right. On the left hand side, you have a settings bar. By default, the phone is set to scene recognition when you first start the camera. With this setting, the camera will automatically detect which kind of scene is most suitable and make the necessary settings such as white balance and exposure values. This means that you don't have to worry about adjusting different settings when taking pictures. When a scene is detected, an icon appears in the viewfinder. You can change the picture resolution between several picture sizes and aspect ratios by tapping this icon. A photo with higher resolution has better quality but also requires more memory. Instead of using the camera key, you can use touch capture for taking pictures. Tap this icon and tap on. You can now tap inside the viewfinder to take the picture. When you release your finger, the photo is automatically taken and is saved on the memory card. Tapping this icon lets you set the self timer. By default, the flash is set to auto. Tap the flash icon. You can choose your desired flash setting or set the flash to be off. Tap this icon. You can now choose which kind of capturing mode you want. Choose from normal, scene recognition and smile detection. If you want more freedom to experiment with the different settings, tap normal. Drag the settings bar to the right in the viewfinder. You now have access to settings not available in scene recognition mode that lets you experiment more when taking pictures. Tap scenes. Using a scene lets you quickly set up the camera for common situations using pre-programmed modes, helping you get the best possible photo without adjusting the settings. Tap focus mode. The focus function controls different ways of determining how the focus should be set. You can now choose which focus setting you want. There are six settings including multi auto focus, macro and face detection. By using face detection, the camera automatically detects up to five human faces indicated by frames in the viewfinder. A very useful focus mode for when you need to focus in a very specific spot is touch focus. Using touch focus, you can touch a specific area in the viewfinder where you want the focus to be. When you release your finger, the photo will be taken and is automatically saved to the memory card. The exposure value controls the amount of light in the viewfinder. A higher value increases the amount of light into the camera lens. Be careful with higher values as it can increase the amount of noise in a picture. It can also cause the picture to be more blurry since you increase the exposure time. Tap white balance. The white balance setting adjusts the color balance according to the lighting conditions. For example, something white can appear to be warm in color when being lit by indoor lighting. There are five different settings you can choose from. To set the white balance, locate a large white area in the viewfinder and adjust the white balance until you get the result you want. By using auto white balance, the color balance adjusts automatically to the lighting conditions. By using the stabilizer, the camera can compensate for small hand movements when taking pictures. Tap Image Stabilizer and set it to on or off. When turned on, you'll notice a small icon in the viewfinder. Experiment with these settings until you get the result you want from the camera. From practice comes great pictures. 
To record a video, switch the camera to video mode either by tapping the icon or dragging the control to the right. To start recording, press the camera key. To end recording, press the camera key again. The video is automatically saved to the memory card. You can also select to record video by using touch capture. Drag the settings bar to the right and tap touch capture. Set touch capture to on. Now simply touch the screen to record video. In the settings bar, you can select which kind of scene you would like to use. Adjust the video size by pressing this icon. When sharing a video in an MMS, the video can sometimes be too large to send. To avoid this, set the video size to multimedia message and then record your video. You can also select the kind of focus mode you would like to use or whether or not to use the photo light when recording video. To view your recorded videos, drag the thumbnail bar to the left and tap a video. Here you can also select to share the video, edit the video start and end point in the video editor, delete the video, or view the video in the gallery application. You can easily play your recorded videos on most newer televisions through the HDMI connection. Please watch the video Xperia Arc on the big screen for more information. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film. You'll find more information about your Xperia Arc by visiting the Support Zone, where you can improve your user experience.